Bora TV. The world is thinking. Um, at least I was uh, so naive that I thought that uh, trading looks like this. So this is this is uh, uh, the New York Stock Exchange. Um, that it would actually be people shouting out their orders to each other, being completely frantic and, and in panic all the time. Um, but what I learned is that it's actually not so much, you know, it's not that true anymore. They say Wall Street is a museum, right? Um, actually, trading looks much more like this. It's a black box, and it's a whole network of black boxes. And in it is software that is um, uh, created by uh, very um, uh, good mathematicians that try to use historical trade data to recreate a, um, a model of our um, uh, of, the, of the, well, the current state of the markets in order to predict what it's going to be in the future. And these algorithms trade amongst themselves. They don't have any human um, um, uh, influence anymore. Of course, that these computers don't look like this. These, these are the computers that, that, that do that. Um, they're not regular PCs, right? They're really fast. They're the fastest computers on the planet that actually do this trading. And this leads to um, uh, two things that I, I think are really important. Actually, three. Well, one is that this kind of trading is growing. So its estimates are that it's between 50 to 17% of all trades are being done like that. So there's no humans involved. It's just mathematical algorithms uh, trading amongst themselves. Um, another thing is that um, these computers are really expensive. So there's only really big companies that can keep up with this arms race of um, uh, you know, having the infrastructure to, to, to actually trade like that. And it's so fast, it can get up to 3,000 transactions per second, which is about 1,000 times faster than you can blink your eyes. Um, there's upsides to that, that um, uh, these algorithms are not corrupt, are, um, uh, and they're, they're not emotional. So you know, maybe it's a little bit safer that way. But when something does go wrong, when there's a feedback loop of maybe you know, some bad information that enters this, this um, uh, um, algorithm, um, it can go, crash really fast. And while we were doing research for this documentary, um, in 2010, on May 6th, there was the fastest and deepest crash of the Dow Jones in its history. And we figured that this would be the center of our documentary, that we would, you know, talk to experts in the field and people who witnessed that day, traders, people who program, so the quants that, that program these, um, these computers, and, um, uh, well, and make a film about it. Also, and we got the, uh, some of that historical data from the day to, to, to visualize. So I want to show a small clip that kind of shows the atmosphere of the documentary. I saw that panic, you know, and then, then I started watching CNN or one of those channels. What we're seeing right now, I mean, it, it, maybe, I, I believe maybe unprecedented. You're not, didn't talk about capitulation. Let's take a look at P&G. They're going to probably halt trading. We can't stop the selling. Any thoughts of um, what's going on here? Steve Jobs didn't die. There's no reason for Apple to be falling to zero. Right. And so they start trading. And then, I mean, the, the backup in, what, seven and a half minutes or something, it was incredible. And that what, couldn't have been people not right. reacting that quickly and not in that kind of volume. Well, one key thing is how automated is all of this, all of these, these trades? Uh, and that's when the delay started a few hundred milliseconds and then a few seconds and then five seconds and then 10 seconds. And then some of them went all the way to 36 seconds. So the delay in the data was 36 seconds. Right, but the way that the timestamps occur is it hi hid the delay, so you couldn't see it. The Dow Jones, it was actually should have been here. The real price was here. The delay in the system caused it to appear like it was over here. So when people were seeing the Dow dropping, this uh, was actually really where the market was at that moment in time. We operate on this time scale where, you know, where five minutes is pretty fast. You could go out for a cup of coffee and come back and find that you lost a billion dollars. That's, that's, that would ruin, you know, ruin your day. And, and uh, yet for these computers operating in microseconds, it makes, it makes no difference.